pretty much. I, I kind of messed up anyway. Ow! <laughs> hey there everybody, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom. Today I'm going to be joining a homeschool ABC collab with some other ladies and I will leave their links down below. I'm kind of late to the game on this one so I'm jumping in at the letter D this week. And when I first heard the letter D, the first thought that came to my mind was dinner. Now, how many of us struggle with dinner on a regular basis? Shamefully waving my hand because I feel like I'm at home all day. Dinner should not be this big of a struggle, but I have to keep in mind I'm working full time. Whether or not I'm working outside of the house or not, homeschooling really is a full time job. Plus, put on top of that, three kids and all their activities and everything else going on, dinner can be a real struggle in our house. So there's a couple things that we try to do to juggle it and minimize the chaos. Can't say it's completely eliminated, but to minimize it. And the first thing I do is when I'm sitting down to think about what's for dinner, I try to keep in mind our schedule. My son swims two nights a week, and I work at the Y, and... The kids, Lydia has dance and gymnastics, and the little guy were working around nap times and this whole thing. So it can be pretty chaotic. And I try to keep in mind, okay, what nights can I absolutely not wait till the last minute? And for us, that's Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's the two nights a week that Noah has swim. We don't get home till almost seven o'clock. So that is not a night that I wanna be starting dinner at seven o'clock in the evening. Those two nights, I try to think, okay, what can I throw in the crock pot? What can I plan that will be, you know, a nice dinner that will be ready, that will just be instantly ready, and it'll feel like somebody else came in my house and did the cooking. So in the wintertime, it's really easy to pull crockpot meals off. It's cold. Everybody wants soup. We're doing a lot of soups on Tuesdays and Thursdays right now. They are my go-to meals on swim nights. My other nights, I work until 5 o'clock one evening a week. And so I try to make that night to be a very simple meal. It can be a salad, like a main dish salad. It could be some kind of a vegetable meal. It could be something that I can just pull from the freezer. Some nights that means I'm pulling tortellini out of the freezer and we're having salad with it. Simple, simple, simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. That's what I keep reminding myself. It just needs to be something that's healthy and something that's filling <laughs> with kids. So those are, I try to keep in mind what nights are gonna be chaotic, what nights are gonna be crazy. I love to cook. So on Saturdays, that's my night to like actually cook a real kind of a nicer meal, something that's gonna take a little bit more time, but I don't even try to bother with that during the week. And of course, this is all leading up to the fact that I plan our meals, because if I don't plan our meals, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> And you can't think of like a meal plan as restrictive. You have to think about it as it's actually pretty freeing because now I'm not looking in the cupboard at four o'clock to try and figure out what I'm going to make for dinner at five. I have all these meals lined out. So if swim practice is canceled one night, I can say, hey, I've got the ingredients for this and this is really what I'm craving tonight. This is what I'm going to make tonight because I have the time. So it kind of frees me to mix and match, but I know that those items are still all gonna be in my cupboard. Another thing that we do besides meal planning is I keep a list and it kind of goes seasonally, kind of goes with whatever we're craving at the time. I keep a list of quick and easy meals posted on the refrigerator. So before I make my meal plan, I can say, hey, we haven't had that in a really long time. That sounds good. Let's put that on the meal plan this week. Hey, you know, we've had pea soup for the last two weeks in a row. I'm really wanting something else from the crock pot. What else can I put in my crock pot that's listed here? Because when I'm just making a meal plan on the fly, I forget and I get in a rut and I don't remember things that we really actually enjoy. And then we can rediscover things later on because they're listed there. One of the other things that I also try to do is keep ingredients for maybe two or three quick and easy dinners so let's say you've made your meal plan and you've picked up all your ingredients for a certain dinner but you forgot that one thing at the store well then that's the night you pick out your quick and easy dinner that's the night you pull your tortellini and salad out of the freezer in the fridge and it's a throw together meal 
but it's always there and it's always quick and accessible. So those are my tips for planning dinners when you're a busy homeschool mom. I'd love to see your ideas down below. Let's have a conversation down below about how you plan dinners, whether you're a homeschool mom, whether you're a working mom, you're a stay-at-home mom. How do you plan your dinners to go smoothly for your family? Talk to you later, babe. Did it die? No. There's an air, so you need to turn it off. Okay. okay. I'll go work on it.